Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our leg muscles. If for any reason you feel extreme amount of tightness in your abdominal region, I do definitely feel that thanks to the hanging leg raises. So that's absolutely fine. You would, if you have done that for the first time or have done it after a long time, you will feel extreme soreness in your abdominal. I'm straight away going to start with the greatest stretch, five repetitions, each side. As usual, before starting our workout, make sure that you stretch your inner thighs and glutes as much as possible because today we are going to work on them. So a good amount of warm-up mobility is good. So let's do our deep squat for the day by pushing our glutes far behind, getting the hamstring stretch. And once they are completely stretched, bend your knees and sit into a deep squat. Now slowly shift your body weight into uh, onto one ankle at a time. Just improving the mobility of your ankles. Making sure we retain the deep squat mobility. Now for my second mobility drill, I'm going to do the hip openers. I have still a little bit of stiffness in my left leg. So this particular exercise is really helping me in relieving that tension from my IT band. Make sure you squeeze your glutes as you push your knee over your toes to get the maximum amount of activation of all the muscles during this movement. Five repetitions on each side. You can do it without holding a weight. I prefer holding a weight just to add a little bit of more stretch or stress on the stretch five repetitions each side and we are good to go i'm going to start my warm-up with the working exercise itself the first exercise so those that would be the rdls so make sure you stand straight okay uh, press the bar into your body into your thighs by making a tight upper back and then slowly lean forward by pushing your glutes as far behind as possible without bending your knee much you might you can bend them a little bit as you move past them to get a little bit more room to go down but otherwise try to keep your hamstrings completely stretched stretch as much as possible i've done two sets of this warm up 12 to 15 repetitions feeling the glutes activate also as you can see when I want to come up, I just don't pull the bar up. Instead, I start squeezing my glutes as hard as possible, like I am do about to do a hip thrust, and that gets my hips straight. That straightens my entire body. So as you go down, you push your glutes behind, and as you come back up, you squeeze your glutes like you're about to perform a hip thrust, and you become straight. This exercise is an excellent conditioner for your glutes also along with your hamstrings you will also feel a little bit of stretch in your calf muscles and that's absolutely fine because all our entire uh, the entire chain is connected so you will feel that a little bit now i started loading the weight i stuck to the same amount of weight for all my five sets i'm going to do five sets of them eight to ten repetitions now you can choose to go progressively overload it or start with a challenging weight and then start dropping the weight it's totally up to you i chose to stick to the same amount of weight as my legs were still a bit sore and my core was also a bit tired so i did not want to push it much further and lose my form and then achieve the repetitions i wanted to achieve the perfect 8 to 10 repetitions with keeping a strict form again the principle remains the same make sure you lean forward by pushing your glutes behind as far as possible and then when you want to come back up, start squeezing your glutes together, make a hip, do a hip thrust and push yourself straight. The 8 to 10, repetition, uh, 10 repetitions, you can, you, there are again two options for you to do this. You can do it a little bit slow, feel the stretch in your hamstrings or you can go a little bit explosive, put much of the stress on your glutes because when you do it explosive, you squeeze your glutes really hard to get straight. And they need to work really hard to move your entire upper body into a straight line along with the weight. So a great amount of work being done. In this particular angle, you can clearly see how I squeeze my glutes 
to get back up i'll keep reiterating this thing this one point the one q because this is the most vital one because when we try to lift the weight back up is when the load shifts back onto our lower back including or involving our glutes to the maximum make sure the load doesn't or ever shift onto our lower back and that's it after five sets now after this i moved on to my leg extensions i started with alternative one leg at a time and then i moved on to both the legs together for my four sets that's what i have done i tried to achieve 12 to 15 repetitions initially the first few repetitions for each leg were one leg and then once i was tired and I'm unable to move the weight i shifted to both the legs kind of a drop set at the same time we can focus one leg at a time and notice if there is any kind of difference in strength four sets 12 to 15 repetitions in total and we are good to go your quads and your hamstrings should be on fire after this much of volume put in in a short period of time the amount of break you need to take would be around 90 seconds to 120 seconds in between the rdls and once you move from there to the leg extensions you need not take much of a break 60 seconds should be fine because it's an equipment based exercise and the isolation of the muscle should let you recover quicker than a compound movement now for my next exercise i'm going to do the oblique twist remember it's a very easy exercise you just need to take a lightweight stick put it on your back and start twisting on each side but the most important cue is to try to keep your hips locked in and squeeze or brace your core brace your abdomen as tight as possible creating that extra bit of contraction and when you brace and try to rotate is where your obliques have to work really hard to go through the movement bending your knees a little bit always helps me so you can use that too for my next exercise i'm going to do the drop catches again five kilo plate this time i chose to keep my leg on a bench just to ensure i don't injure myself so you can follow this similar technique to make sure your leg remains safe pretty easy exercise just bend try drop a plate not a dumbbell dumbbell wouldn't you will be able to catch it pretty easily a plate would be difficult to catch and would require more forearm work in terms of catching the weight before it touches the ground i've done three sets of it 12 repetitions 12 to 15 repetitions each hand felt very good felt stronger but i did not move to 10 kilos because i tried it but it did not go quite well i was not able to catch the weight effectively so i was losing out on reps and i don't have a 7.5 kilo plate so i have to train more with the 5 kilo plate and then later on see if my strength develops in my forearm in terms of catching a falling weight about 10 kilos i would move on to it now if you are confident and you are able to catch the 10 kilos please do practice with that pretty easy exercise just lift your arms up about chest level and then drop the weight and catch it before it hits the ground use this bench the way i am leaning or leaning down on the bench to make sure your feet remain safe if you are also working out barefoot even with your shoes i think this is better because you will just be more confident about catching the weight and not focus much on dropping it on your feet good amount of work could be done and also this is a great exercise to ensure that we protect ourselves during falls because when we fall is when we want to grab things very quickly and this particular exercise trains us in doing so so that's it for today thank you so much for joining me if you did like the video please do drop a like and here i moved on to my static stretches i was a bit tired and felt a bit of tightness so i'm using a lying down hamstring stretch now you must have seen multiple varieties of doing this particular stretch you can use a band put it around your ankle and pull your hamstring towards your head or you can do like i am doing on a smith machine or on a rack just put your leg on the support and push yourself a little bit down you will instantly feel a great amount of stretch happening in your quad inner thigh and in your hamstring as the lower leg is being pulled up by the upper leg 
as you can see how I'm unable to keep my leg flat down because of the stretch pull which is happening with the other leg in terms of hamstring. Hold for 20 seconds to make sure you get the effective amount of stretch. You can move down as I did just now to exaggerate the stretch a little bit. This particular stretch stretches your entire hamstrings and glutes so we get both the muscles stretch in one go. You can also do this particular stretch on a wall but wall would restrict you after getting into a straight 90 degree angle. So if you have restrictions which uh, cause you from going for a stretch that would be fine but if your leg is much more flexible then I would prefer using a rack or a smith machine to do this particular stretch. For the next stretch we do the static stretching of our quads and our hips. Simply place your leg like I did on a bar at a hip level height and then try to get as straight as possible by leaning back a little bit. This particular stretch puts an intense stretch on your quads and also your hip muscles as you try to get straight as much as possible in the leg which is on the top. Hold the stretch for 20 seconds for the effectiveness. Now you can do all the stretches for two sets. If you feel the tightness is much more or if you feel any kind of discomfort, I would suggest foam rolling first and then trying the stretch again. If it is still discomforting, then stick to foam rolling for a couple of days till the fascia is completely relieved of extreme amount of tension and then try the stretches again. You should be able to do it a lot better. I was trying to exaggerate the stretch as much as possible. And that's it for today. Again, thank you so much for joining me. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And do drop a like for the video if you have enjoyed the workout. Any feedback and comments would be well appreciated. Thank you again and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.